friends welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are going to go to the bookstore and i'm going to do a little bookstore vlog and we're going to go to a different barnes and noble today because we're down in a different area and this one's bigger so it should have a lot of more different options so that should be fun this one's also one of the newer remodeled ones they just have like more merchandise and stuff like tote bags and notebooks and stuff like that but yeah i'm excited to take you guys along there and i will check back in when we're there
Hello friends, I just got out of Barnes & Noble and it was super busy in there so it was a little stressful but I did end up getting three books so I'm happy with that. I got some that have been on my radar for a while so that was great. I also got a pumpkin cream cold brew as you saw so feeling a little jittery <laughs> but yeah, let's just get on with the haul. So the first book I got is The Kiss Curse by Erin Sterling. And this is part of her, it looks like it's her, the follow up to her book called The XX, which I read last year. And so I'm excited to get to this one because I enjoyed that one quite a bit. It was just like a really cute witchy romance, which I enjoyed. So I don't really know what this one's about. So I'm going to read the back. Gwen Jones is perfectly happy with her life in Grapes Glen. She, her mom, and her cousin have formed a new and powerful coven. She's running a successful witchcraft shop, Something Wicked, and she started mentoring some of the younger witches in town. As Halloween approaches, there's only one problem. Lua... <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'll put it on the screen. Wells has come to Grapes Glen to re establish his family's connection to the town they founded and to make a new life for himself after years of being the dutiful son in Wells. When he opens up a shop of his own, Penn Hollows, just across the street from Something Wicked, he quickly learns he's gotten more than he bargained for in going up against Gwen. When their professional competition leads to a very personal and very hot kiss, both Wells and Gwen are determined to stay away from each other, convinced the kiss was just a magical flip. But when a mysterious new coven of witches comes to town and Gwen's powers begin fading. She and Wells must work together to figure out just what these new witches want and how to restore Gwen's magic before it's too late. So that one sounds super cute. I'm excited for this one. Next is You Deserve Each Other. This is like a rom-com and I've heard so many good things about this one. I think it's a book talk favorite so I'm excited about this one. It says, Naomi Westfield has the perfect fiance. Nicholas Rose holds stores open for, for her, remembers her restaurant orders, and comes from a kind of upstanding society family any bride would love to be a part of. They never fight. They're preparing for their lavish wedding that's three months away, and she is miserably and utterly sick of him. Naomi wants out, but there's a catch. Whoever ends the engagement will have to foot the non-refundable wedding bill. When Naomi discovers that Nicholas too has been feigning contentment, the two of them go head to head in a battle of pranks, sabotage, and all out emotional warfare. But with the countdown looming to the wedding that may or may not come to pass, Naomi finds her resolve slipping. Because now that they have nothing to lose, they're, fi they're finally being themselves and having fun with the last person they expect, each other. Now it sounds really cute. Excited to get to, to this one. I think. I don't know, this seems like a good wintery spring read, so I'll probably read it then. And the last book I got is The Vanishing Stair, which is actually the second book in the Truly De Devious series, which I'm currently reading. I got this one a while ago, but I'll just read the synopsis of this one because this is the second book and I don't want to read any spoilers. This one says, Ellingham Academy is a famous private school in Vermont founded by an early 20th century tycoon for the best and brightest students around. When Ellingham's wife and daughter were kidnapped, the only clue was a mocking riddle listing methods of mur murder signed with the frightening pseudonym Truly Devious. Their disappearance became one of the great unsolved crimes in history. Many years later, two crime aficionado Stevie Bell is set to begin her first year at the academy and she is determined to solve this cold case. That is, she will solve it when she gets a grip on her demanding new school life and her housemates. The inventor, the novelist, the actor, the artist, and the jokester. But Truly Devious makes a surprise return. The past has crawled out of its grave and someone has gotten away with murder. So this one sounds really good. On the back it says it's kind of like Agatha Christie. Christy which I liked her book, and then there were none, which I had to read in school, and I surprisingly ended up liking it. So I'm excited about this one. It seems like the perfect fall 
breed and I think it's like the perfect dark academia vibes and I think there might be kind of a romance in it and like I said I got the second book which I will read after I finish Truly Devious and then hopefully I will read the rest of the series. So those are all the books I got. Very excited about all of them. Comment down below if you've read any of them and tell me any books you've got recently at the bookstore. Like and subscribe if you want to see more from me and I will see you with another video soon.